Hi, this is Mark the Malicious Carp, and uh, today I'm going to be uh, trying to fix this Atari here. Uh, this Atari 2600 is kind of my uh, experimentation unit. I got it in non-working order from Josh Schoberg, who's uh, actually streaming right now. I'm going to date this uh, recording horribly. He's uh, streaming right now for Extra Life on the Rebuilding channel. Uh, hopefully I'll get this up by the uh, end of the day, so I'll actually be sending some traffic to him. Uh, he did an amazing job fundraising for Extra Life. He pushed, uh, gosh, almost $500. Uh, <laughs> so, way to go, Josh. You're awesome. Anyways, um, this unit, uh, I had previously added uh, composite uh, AV out on it, and uh, I, I didn't realize just how brittle this plastic was when I was drilling the holes, so the whole back of the case kind of shattered apart, um, which uh, to fix that I put some really soft plastic on that. That's actually the remainders of a uh, Blockbuster DVD case. Uh, might have been a collector's item, maybe I shouldn't have destroyed it, but uh, uh, so uh, you can see that's kind of a not very good craftsmanship, but uh, this was more of a unit I was using to play around with. Um, anyways, uh, what happened is uh, the AB difficulty switches are broke. And I'll switch it to beginner mode and um, it'll just kind of, I don't know if the switch isn't making contact or what, they're, they're just worn out. And uh, it keeps flipping back to advanced mode while I'm playing. Uh, and that's that's only happening on uh, on left player, but oh hey, I also have a messed up. Uh, I didn't notice this before; it wasn't causing me issues. I don't know if you can see it, but I have a bent pin there. So maybe I should also replace the uh, left uh, joystick. But the weird thing is, it doesn't seem to be causing me issues in gameplay. Maybe I'm just that bad I've never noticed that some of the buttons weren't working. Uh, wow. No, that's, uh, that's a new finding for me. Wonder how long it's been like that. So, I'm gonna try to replace the AB difficulty switch and either uh, repair or replace uh, the left joystick. Right joystick looks great, and the switch feels completely different than the uh, than the left one. So uh, that's what we have. So um, let's see. You can see my nice Radio Shack shirt. I love this shirt. I will never get rid of it, even if Radio Shack uh, dies its slow, painful death. Okay, coffee time. And yes, I realize my workshop is terribly, terribly, terribly uh, full and piled up with stuff. And guess what? I really don't care. It's uh, how I like it. I don't actually, but I'm too lazy to clean it up. And whenever I come in here, I feel like working on a project by cleaning. There's two. Uh, the background music there is uh, The Experience of Not Knowing by Paul Wallace Esch. He is a very talented musician. He also plays for the uh, metal band We Are Legion. Um, I highly, highly recommend looking him up and buying all of his music because it is all amazing. Okay, so I did never posted the video of the mod I actually did to this unit because I never got around to it. Thanks to Windows for getting rid of live uh, Movie Maker. So no one ever got to see my wonderful craftsmanship here. Uh, there's my, my AV mod. It I'm, Once again, I know it's not very well done, um, but it works. And I was mainly using this unit to play around with and experiment on. I have other Atari 2600s laying around. Since this one was given to me non-working, I decided I might as well take advantage of that fact. And you can see just how bad I, I mangled the shell. That's a lesson learned. If I if I mod another Atari right, I'm going to have 
uh, I'm going to have to be very, very careful with that. But the funny thing is, the uh, AV out, it's such a simple circuit. Uh, all it is is a, a single uh, a transistor here and uh, a couple resistors uh, for um, a bleeding current. And uh, it just goes right to the, uh, the uh, Stella chip. And uh, I removed that whole big uh, uh, RF modulator unit. Um, that's the jack for the, the cable. Um, that used to, that came with the Atari stock, and the video in sound is amazingly clear. I I never thought it would make such a big difference to uh, re to replace that, but oh my goodness, the I never saw an Atari look that good. I'm sure there's other mods to make it look even better. So, anyways, this is my troublesome switch. I I kind of wonder. I, I'm going to replace it no matter what, but it would be really interesting to hook a multimeter up to it and just kind of see. Um, I don't have continuity on this one, so I'm going to have to go here. So there I'm getting infinite resistance. And there I'm getting open. If I flip the switch, I'm getting open there. Still getting infinite resistance. So now, hmm. what's it look like on this side? You know what? I think I'm going to have to pull out all the circuit to see what's going on. But once again, I'm just going to flat out replace it, so I shouldn't be spending this much time. Now, this replacement switch isn't exact, so it's going to it's gonna look a little silly. What I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to run wires to all the, the connectors here, and then... Um, Well, let's see what happens. I'll, I'll take it out of the circuit. Kind of go from there, I guess. Okay. Now, desoldering has never been my strong point, but get this to put a little bit of pressure on it while I heat up. Okay, it's coming. Oh. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think I'm going to take this apart. Maybe it's just bad contacts in there. Um, let's see. There's a small needle nose. 
because I ideally it'd be really cool if I could fix it The Experience of Not Knowing by Paul Wallace Ish. Great CD. Great album. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, it's just your run of the mill slider switch. So. Oops. Here's the. Uh, There's the uh, bottom part, and you can see there. There's the legs that go of the board. You have a common connection. You have a common connection right here, and then you have a left and a right setting. And then your slider switch itself moves this little piece of metal. It's kind of C-shaped, and it it sits in the sits in the switch like that. And when you slide the switch, this is really hard to show. Okay, when you slide the switch, it it closes the connections like that. Boom, 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 and then the switch lives just in here. And so. What I'm willing to bet is happening is that there's some corrosion here. Oh yeah, those look kind of ugly. I bet I could clean those up and save them. So, what we do here is I'm going to start by getting some isopropyl alcohol and just a cotton swab and get crap off there. See if anything comes off with this. Okay, it's a little shinier. And then same with this part. There you go, little guy. Okay. Ooh, that is quite a bit shinier, but that doesn't mean it's going to make good connection. So, another thing my high school electronics teacher taught me is that a pencil eraser actually cleans can clean these off pretty well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this in a pair of pliers and I'm just going to erase, erase 40 years of guck. Oh, that is looking much better. Okay, now I'm going to get in here with Q-tip again. And go nuts. Okay, that's looking much better. And on this, I'll hold this in a pair of pliers. And, oh. Gotta go to needle nose, I guess. And erase you. Oh, that looks so much better. Ah. You know what? This switch might be salvageable. More than salvageable. Okay, so I'm going to start by getting this contact. Oh, 
back in the switch, which is going to be my greatest challenge yet. Oh, you know what? I'm also going to bend this out. There we go. Okay, so put the slider switch back in. Okay, I'll shove this all together now. Now is when I should get my multimeter out. Go look at the resistance. And right now I would expect this to be open. No. No. Yes. Okay. Well. I guess I'm just not good enough. Whew. Oh. It turned sideways when I was trying to close it up. Okay. Well, how in the world? I'm almost, I'm almost tempted to just epoxy this stone. Cause it looks like it's gonna keep Trying to flip, flip out of there. Ba. Try turning it around. If I didn't have the super calming music from Paul Wallace Ash, the experience of not knowing in the background, I would have totally turned into the Incredible Hulk by now and just smashed the whole house apart. I'm thinking evil thoughts about how I can put a replacement switch in because I am 
This is not being my friend right now. Now that I forced it in, uh, well maybe Well, let's see here. This time I kind of forced it in. If this doesn't work, then I'll go back to entertaining evil thoughts. Well, it looks like it's staying in place. Let's see, so right now I should have an open between these two. Yes. Now I should have infinite between these two. I should have a short between these two. No! Okay. Well, I tried. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how to mount this switch directly to the case. Well, I'll start by getting some wire here. Brand new wire. And this is solid core, so hardcore wire. Okay. Gotta go.